Hey guys, welcome to Old School Iron Man Progress video number 12. We're starting off today with a medium clue and I'm hopefully going to get myself some ranger boots. So here goes. And a cryer hat. <laughs> I guess that's shit because it says the value is not that good. But it is a rare I suppose, so one more for the tab. Alright, so I've got a hard clue here, but I completely forgot to show the rank and skill total at the start of the episode. I got like four levels before I realised that I'd done this. So I'm a 1473 and my rank is, if I drag it over into the screen, we're now rank 9889, which is pretty good. So yeah, anyway. Oh, sorry. Anyway, hard clue reward. Here goes. Oh, cool. A blue dragon mask. I don't know if that's any use for anything, but it's still a unique and some purple sweets. So, cool. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm slaying at the moment, and the um, the insane Iron Man dragon luck continues. I've just got my second dragon spear. I now have two dragon spears and two shield left halves, and I'm only at 91 combat. That is insane. I'm going to go and try my luck at KBD soon, and maybe the Dust Devils too, because I reckon i probably get a dragon chain on this account. But, but yeah, awesome. All right, so just in the background here, I've got a couple of clues. I didn't get anything too great, sadly, but I thought I should add some commentary just to say that I did a couple of clues here. So there you go. Okay guys, so I managed to get myself 400 points to unlock the Slayer Helmet. I'm going to do that now and then the next one will be the Broader Fletching, I think. Or the uh, boss thing. I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. So here we go. Slayer Helmet. I think I've got to use that on this, haven't I? Uh, what am I missing? Face mask, nose peg. Oh, Enchanted Gem. All right. One of those. Hey, there we go. Awesome. Alright, went down to Barrows and got the only item of the week this week, which is a Varric plate skirt, which is really awesome because I needed some trousers, so there you go. Alright guys, so if you look in the chat box there, I just got myself 75 fire making. I also went and got the, uh, how do you pronounce it, Zeric Talisman. I got it on my first 50 kills and the drop rate is supposed to be 1 in 250, so I got quite lucky with that, which is awesome. And I've got three crates here, so I'll open them real quick. And nothing's, oh, pure essence awesome, which is cool. And now a friend just reminded me that um, I don't actually need to get smithing level up to make bolts. If I get 65 fletching and 72 slayer, which I was going to do anyway, I can kill the wyverns and they drop loads of addy bolts. And then I can use the fletching to um, make the bolts I need for Zolra. So I'm going to get on with that because I really want to get on with Zolra. And I want to get that started as soon as possible because the earlier the better. So I'll do that and I'll come back when I'm at 65 fletching. So be right back. And there we go guys, that's 65 fletching obtained, which is awesome. I actually went ahead and made some um, bolts already, because I had some Addy bolts from Metal Dragons. I've got 31 so far, which obviously isn't enough yet to start Zara with. Um, so the next thing to do is get 72 Slayer. Obviously that's going to take a bit longer, but hopefully I get a lot of clues on the way to show you, and that'll be some nice content. So with that in mind, I'll be back with the first clue, hopefully. Alright guys, so I managed to get myself a clue, and I'm almost 69 Slayer, and I'm also almost 60 Hunting, which will be the... Monkey Madness 2 requirements, but here's the clue reward, here goes. And nothing too special that time, never mind. <laughs> Alright guys, so I kept getting uh, Black Demon tasks and tasks that I needed to arrange, so I thought I might as well come and get the uh, Black Mask imbued thing out of the way, so it took me quite a while, I got a combat level and a few strength levels in the process, but I have unlocked it now, so here we go, that's that done. Awesome, and now I need to um, make some mithril bolts. I think you need 53 smithing, so for today I'm going to go and get myself 52 real quick and then use a dwarven stout to make a bunch of mithril bolts because I'm trying to rush the 72 slayer for the wyverns, as you know, and so I can start Zara quicker and also so I can get a bunch of clues. So I'll be right back with that in mind. All right, so I've got myself a hard clue here off the Black Demons. I'm definitely going to have to um, block this task for now until I'm a bit higher skill because it's taken me ages to get done. But here's the clue reward. Here goes... Ancient braces, awesome. I don't have them. I'm not too sure if they're any good for me or not. Well, let me let me check one sec. If I am range 51 now, that'd be 62. And then I need to check the barrow's gloves. So I'll be right. Yeah, the barrow gloves have got one more range attack, so I'll stick to using them. But they're still a unique, so awesome. All right, so I've got myself another hard clue, and here's the reward. And I've got that one already, sadly. So that's a duplicate, but some nice alcohols though. So yep. Alright, so the second clue of this Hellhound task, and it's a pretty crap one, but the alcohols are nice because the cash stack does add up. And I think I need 1.2-ish mil for the crafting grind to make all the oak planks. So yeah, the more alcohols the better, I suppose. So I'm on to the uh, third clue of this Hellhound task, and I forgot to mention earlier that I actually got 80 mage, so that's pretty cool. Here's the reward, let's go. And more alcohols, never mind. 
All right, so clue number four of this hellhound task. <laughs> I think they're getting worse, aren't they? Never mind. All right, so I've got another clue here. I'm almost 70 Slayer now. This one is from Cave Horror, so I also got myself a black mask for killing them. So hopefully something good from this one. Um, I think I already have that one, don't I? Let me check my bank. Yeah, I do. I have four of these now, so there we go. All right, guys, just got myself 70 Slayer there, which is awesome. I've unlocked Kurasks now, and um, my plan is to put these Fire Giants on block as soon as possible. I managed to block Black Demons now, and I'm going to block these two. The reason being is because they take too long at the moment, and they don't drop clues, which is kind of what I want the most. And if I take Turoff off, and Turoff and Kurask, I can kill them now because I can go and kill them to get the Leaf Bladed Spear. And I think they drop a new uh, hammer of some sort as well. Whilst I was away, there was an update for that. So I might go and kill some in a bit for fun and try and get those. And then, yeah, they're both clue droppers. So something that I'd rather do than Fire Giants. So, yep. All right, guys, so I just got myself 1,500 total and 94 combat. And I didn't realize that these Dust Devils have been updated for um for Slayer drops. And look, I've got about 200Ks worth of drops here so far. Really awesome. So a cool task now. Alright guys, so I just got myself 80 hit points there and I'm closing in on 72 Slayer, we've got 58k to go. And this Kuras task is absolutely awesome, I banked once already but I think I made about 7 to 800k here so far. Really cool task, I like the um, the update that they've done for this, it's, it's awesome. Alright guys, so here it comes, 72 Slayer, I've now unlocked Wyverns which is really awesome. I haven't been here since before summer on my main on Dharma, but I've got a feeling it's still going to be packed with loads of people and it's going to be a nightmare. But Having said that, I am going to go and try for a bit and try and get some Addy Bolts so I can do some Zara tonight. I haven't quite yet unlocked Broad Bolts either yet, so I'm going to YouTube a quick guide on how to kill them eff eff like effectively on an Iron Man, and then I'll be back hopefully with some, some loot. So, yeah. Alright guys, so I actually managed to get myself a Zara kill. It took me 5 minutes and 22 seconds at 74 range. Absolutely terrible. I think I need to get my range up to 80 probably and to get some uh, range void before I start this. But it was good fun though and I did get a kill. Sadly the drop was awful. 300 death runes and 2 Calquat seeds. But never mind. First one in the bank. So awesome. Alright guys, so I realised I need to unlock Broad Bolts and I was about at 200 and something points and then I got Fire Giants and Blood Vows like one after the other and I decided to block them and these are the tasks that I've blocked for now, Black Demons, Spirits, Creatures, Fire Giants and Blood Vows because they're all things that take quite a long time to kill and they're a pain for me and they don't drop anything good like Blood Vows, the only thing they drop that's any use to me is Clue and the, the drop chance of that is 1 in 5, 12. Um, but I'm always willing to take tips from wherever I am in because I'm always learning new things and how to do things better. So if this isn't like the best four for me to have on block at the moment, would you let me know? Um, this will obviously change once I've done Monkey Madness. Two, I'll take Black Demons off and I'm a bit higher melee stats because I'll do the um, the Gorilla things for the gems and that uh, Ballista stuff. And the spiritual creatures will obviously come off when I get to 83 Slayer for Dragon Boots and all the runes they drop and that kind of thing. But Fire Giants, I hate. Absolute pain to kill those things. Um, always full of people killing them. And Blood Vows, as I said, absolutely crap loot. So... Uh, with that in mind, the new goal now is to unlock broad bolts because I need them to kill the wyverns with, um, and I also need to get myself the range void from pest control. But that's going to take quite a while, so that's going to take me over this episode and the next episode. So that probably won't happen for a little while. But they're the two next goals. So for now, I'm going to go do some barrows and hopefully get an item, and then after that, we'll probably finish up with some skilling and maybe a quest or or a diary. We will see. So with that in mind, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, then so I'm down at barrows. This is my first chest. Hopefully something good. Nothing. Alright, chest number two. I'm going to call myself a Guffin's War Spear. Nope. <laughs> Alright, chest number three then. Let's go. Nothing. I'm going to do one more. Alright, so last chest of the day. And I was just thinking actually, if I get a Verac Helm, it'll be a full set, my first full set. So that would be pretty cool. <laughs> and no, of course I didn't get anything, so never mind. I'm now going to go and get, uh, AFK Void for a bit. And I guess I'll come back with a clue or something similar. Alright, so I tried to do pest control, but the boat was crap and it was leggy, so I think I might wait for 100 combat. Down in the desert, I've got myself a clue here. Here comes the reward. And a bandos page too. I think that might be unique. I'll have to go and check, so one moment. And yes, it is, so that's pretty cool. Awesome. Alright, so I'm in the third age spot here. I've got myself another hard clue, so here goes. <laughs> Not quite third age, never mind. Alright, so would you believe the good bad luck, I've just got myself my third shield left half drop, my third one now, and I'm only level 95 combat, <laughs> and from a steel dragon too, so that could have been um, dragon legs or a visage, and I got that instead, so a bit disappointing, but I suppose it is a super rare drop, and that's free for 95 combat, so there you go. 
All right, so for a bit of a change, I actually come up to the blast furnace and I bought myself a whole bunch of gold ore to use with the uh, smithing gauntlets and I'm gonna make myself 400 myth bars too, just to stock up on some more mithril bolts. I already made 2K and I'm at 53 smithing. I'm hoping I can get this to 60, so I'm gonna go and get on with that and I'll come back when I finish with all of that. Yep. All right, guys, so I did get myself to 60 smithing and I'm gonna make myself a uh, dragon's shield over in Ardy, West Ardy, because it's an achievement diary. I'm not sure how long that takes. Cool, yeah, a hard part of the diary. I'm nowhere near the farming window. I really need to get on with the farming. I should be doing at least a daily run, if not more, but I, I get so bored of doing it, but I will start that as soon as possible. So there we go. And now I'm going to get back to Slayer for a bit more, um, try and get some more clues, and then we're approaching the end of the video now. And I also need to do some other things. Um, I'll be back when I'm ready, but yeah, Dragon Square, which is cool. All right, so I've got myself a level three clue here. Here it goes. And nothing good, sadly. Never mind. And this clue here, which is really cool, I got two pages and they were both unique pages as well, so that's cool. All right guys, so I got myself a hard clue here and I'm gonna call the video here. I was trying to get the broad bolts before I ended the video. And if you look, I've got 190 points and I'm on 98 tasks in a row. So it's two more tasks and, and I can get it. But I've got a Kurask task and it's gonna take ages and the video is dragging on. It's been like a week now, I think. So I'm just to get the video out, here's the clue reward. And nothing good, sadly, and then I'll show you the bank like I always do and then end it there, so be right back. Alright, so the bank value is on 30.5 mil. The armor tab is pretty much the same. I didn't really get anything at Barrows this video, sadly. Uh, the loot tab's gone up a little bit. Obviously, being an Iron Man, I use quite a lot of stuff as I go, especially the gems and that kind of thing. And the clue tab is looking like this, which is pretty nice now. So yeah, that's awesome. So thanks again for watching, guys. I'm almost at the point of doing the PVM and the fun stuff now and past this boring progress stuff. And I appreciate it is boring, especially like this far into old school RuneScape and stuff. But it needs to be done. I, I need to get these broad bolts. I need to get like four more range levels and full void. But I might do the ranging at pest control once I've got 100 combat. And that will get me up to um, where I need to be to get the void armor. And once I have that and access to broad bolts I can kill the skeletal wyverns a lot easier and then I can use that for full range method at Zolra and then start progressing towards the fun PVM stuff. So yeah, with that in mind, I'll catch you next time guys.